this oven fried chicken it is so crispy in the outside and super juicy in the inside let me show you how to make the copycat version of kfc in the oven hi guys and welcome back to my channel let us make the best ever oven fried kfc copycat chicken it is so good and if you are that person that is trying to cut down oily food but you still want to enjoy something delicious this is your go-to recipe if you're new here a very big welcome to you please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to start off with our recipe these are all the ingredients we will be needing please check the description box because i will be dropping the recipe down there and as well you can also check my website for recipe instructions right here i'll be using some chicken oil seasoning you can use any of your preferred seasonings or maybe some beyonds some other recipes they call for salt only to season no 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 that's not gonna work with me i always use my chicken oil seasoning for the perfect taste ever if you know what i mean So now we're going to add in some ginger and garlic paste. Soy sauce. So guys, my soy sauce here is not that salty. So if you are using your soy sauce, try to adjust between the soy sauce and the salt, okay? So that you don't get a too much um, salty chicken, okay? And my next ingredient to come in, I'm going to put just a little bit of salt. Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie. Adding some cooking oil. I'm using olive oil here. You can use canola oil, or if you really do want to use melted butter, you can go ahead and use about three tablespoons of melted butter. Now adding some ketchup, hot sauce, and one large egg. So guys, for the hot sauce, I just want it a little bit spicy. You can skip that if you do not like spicy food, okay? And so please do not miss out the egg that has to come in like right now because the eggs too, it helps the, the flour to coat easily and it also gives that beautiful crispy chicken. So adding the eggs, then go ahead and mix everything until well combined. African, Asian, American and worldwide recipe, pastries and African, Asian, American and let it rest for about 30 minutes so while that is resting let us go ahead to prepare our flour mix right here we have some all-purpose flour adding some cornstarch very important do not miss that we have some black pepper we're gonna be adding in some salt smoked paprika some turmeric do not miss the turmeric the turmeric gives that beautiful golden color some chili powder garlic powder and mixed herbs i'm using italian seasoning there you can use any of your favorite mixed herbs okay go ahead and give that a perfect stir until well combined so guys for the turmeric i'm gonna tell you something the turmeric is the one that gives the chicken the beautiful um golden or oh, let me say that yellowish color because we are not going to be deep frying okay so do not miss out turmeric now you need uh, about two cups of water in a deep cup so that the chicken can easily drench in. So the first step you want to do is to coat the chicken with the flour first. Then you let it rest inside the water for about one or two seconds. Let me say approximately two seconds. You don't need to rest in there for long. Then after that, do the second coating. And that is it just transfer onto your baking pan so guys for the baking pan you can use a rack on the baking pan or you can use like a greased parchment paper or a greased baking mat okay that's just to prevent the chicken from sticking to the surface of the pan so when everything is looking so good what you want to do next is to spray the 
chicken with some cooking oil okay this is a trick my camera did not capture that part for some reason then go ahead and bake 400 degree fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes and this is how beautiful it's looking after so guys here's the thing do not miss the part of spraying the um chicken with some cooking oil okay so that when it comes out of the oven it's gonna have that beautiful glitter color like this if not when the chicken comes out it's gonna be whitish like the flour is still on it so yeah this is how it's looking you can see it is so juicy inside fully cooked to the core and it's so crispy outside guys i did not stop eating this when i made it it was so crispy and guess what it does not have too much oil just what you need so guys check my website for this recipe i will drop the link for you guys it has all the tips the instructions and the detailed recipe thank you so much for watching until we meet again bye for now